and it is my episode and you welcome back to our Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock. In the last episode, uh, we ended up taking on the Team Rocket headquarters here in Mahogany Town. Um, and yeah, that's about it. We got two encounters there. One of the ones on those pads that spawn coughing Voltorb and Geodude, because they all explode. That's the reason that they're all there. Then all the electrodes, we only got one of them because two of them self-destructed before I could catch them. So anyways, as you saw, there was a little grinding my thoughts before that, and as you can see on the screen, I wanted to change it around, but I forgot he was out front. We do have Chuck here. I decided to train him back up and add him to the team, uh, mainly because we did lose both our fire and fighting type in the last episode. Spoilers if you didn't check that out. My bad. But anyways, uh, yeah, I want to go over the team real quick because not much has changed, but I got everyone up to level 40, so pretty good stuff. We have Chuck here with the J uh, Jolly Nature holding choice ban, cut fire punch, thunder punch, mock punch. Um, I did see close combat. I'm like, um, I don't really want to teach it because I don't want to get rid of fire punch or thunder punch or mock punch. I should have got in hindsight. Actually, I don't even remember mock punch was something that was available in the thing. But anyways, it wouldn't let me re-add uh, close combat. It wasn't in his, like, relearn move. So that sucks if we don't get close combat because I got rid of cut. I was like, okay, I'll get rid of cut because I didn't expect him to learn close combat. Anyway, uh, I forgot he learned that upon evolution. I don't remember what Empoleon gets when it evolves because obviously you have to tear with Earthquake and Chuck with uh, close combat. I assume it's probably a Steel-type move because that would fit in. So anyways... Pretty good stuff. Iron punt, our iron fist. So this thing is gonna hit like a truck. Next up, we have Griffin here, exactly the same, uh, except for his level. So sharp beak, uh, quirky nature, I think. Fly, steel wing, crunch, strength, and pretty cool stuff. Hestia here. I decided to reteach surf over fire blast. I felt surf was more useful. Um, I don't think I would leave this thing in against ice types because I don't have. I didn't have much to hit it, and fire blast wasn't really accurate enough in my mind. And I feel this thing could fare better against ground types anyway, so I just retired sir. It's got rivalry, which is a bad nature. It's got a brave nature, or a bad ability and brave nature leftovers. Uh, Perdra here is exactly the same. I really hope it learns Ice Beam soon, and we'll get Dragon Pulse from Claire. So, provided that he stays alive till then, we'll be good. I gave it choice specs because this thing has a full special moveset. It's like a truck. It also has a very good physical attack stat. So, if we end up needing to give it a um, physical move like Waterfall, it'd be just fine with it. So, pretty cool stuff. Uh, next up, Shawnee here. Uh, I ended up teaching a Thunder Wave over Thunder Fang, which it also learned. I don't remember if I had it. I, I, I learned it, and I remember I was using it in grinding. So anyways, I got rid of that for Thunder Wave. And yeah, because Shockwave would do more on this thing, because this thing is a modest nature and is blisteringly fast. Gresna also helps with the ground types if I need that, so pretty cool stuff. And then finally, Mr. Twigs here has Strength, Seed Bomb, Superpower, Earthquake. We hatched him in the last episode. It was literally perfect timing. I gave him Choice Band, because this thing is going to hit like a truck. Uh, he's prevent he's immune to crits, which is really nice. I need a, I, I need a, like, a really good special defensive Mon. Like, straight up, if anyone's to be replaced, it's going to be Nidoqueen. As much as I love Nidoqueen, it's just that stats in general are not that impressive it's got a good attack stat um its defense and special defense are kind of equal but perdra has the same attack stat and better defenses and is and is faster and has a better typing in dragon water so um yeah needle queen will be the first to drop and i mean i know who i'm going to replace her with uh so i think i will train them up for the next episode uh, just because Needle Queen is not a bad Pokemon. I love Needle Queen so much. But anyways, we're gonna move on here. We're gonna be taking on Price's gym. Uh, he's a, a an ice type trainer. Fl I, I don't know what I was trying to say there. I think I was trying to say fire type because I was thinking of Chuck being a fire and fighting type. So he's going to be like he's just gonna run r house in this gym. I was thinking about not training him up as high as everyone else because he literally just obliterate the entire team of Fire Punch. Because he's going to outspeed everything because he's so dang fast. And then Choice Band and Fire Punch. He's just going to rip through everything. And like on Dugongs, I don't even have to worry that much about it because Iron Fist, Banded, Fire Punch might still look out. Oh yeah, you're... I forgot, you're pure water. You haven't uh, changed yet. I need something like that, uh, a, a good resistance to water. And bye. Check us level 50. He's relearning close combat. That's exactly why. Son of a gun! <laughs> um, I can live without Mach Punch for now. I just really hope that I can reteach it Mach Punch because I didn't want Cut 
So I'm gonna run back real quick, because obviously he learns that evolving in a Monferno. So, I don't know if that was an- I don't- that actually wasn't an option, because he already knew the move, so. We're gonna go get rid of Cut and see if I can reteach him Mach Punch. But that makes sense now why it wouldn't let me actually, uh, reteach it to him, because he was gonna relearn it- he was gonna learn it again anyway. Yes, Mach Punch. Sweet. Now I still- I still have four heart skills. I'm gonna reorganize his moves, so I'm not gonna get confused. Chuck is happily cuddling up to you. Aw, don't burn me with your hair. I'd appreciate that. Alright, I did battle both of you. Okay, so I think... What? I do that and then that? Yeah. The first two are simple. This one's a little bit more tough, but, you know. Let's give it a go. Hey, are you shivering? No. Ah. Oh. The pro plays. The pro plays. Ow. There's no way you're living that, that's for sure. You know, I could have probably even sent in, uh... Whatever you call it. Aerodactyl. I'm gonna send in Shawnee. Because Shawnee just does better, especially. And Cloyster's got good physical defense. I just don't want it to, like, have some good water type move to hurt me with. Shoo, shoo. I feel really bad for you, Snowbird. You're literally just going to be absolutely demolished. I feel bad for all these Pokemon because there's not much they can do. They're just literally getting... Wow, that Glalie lived that really well. That's cr that's actually insane. I did not expect that, I can tell you that much. Anyway, that's a pretty simple gym puzzle. So I'm gonna mock punch rather than whatnot, just so I don't waste so much power points with uh, fire punch, so I have some remaining. All right, in all honesty, I think that this will go this will go well. Pokemon have many experiences in their life, just like we do. I do have seen and suffer much. Since I'm young, let me show you what I mean. I've been trying Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I price a winter train to shut up my power. Well, if you're an old man and I'm like 10, it makes sense. Anyway, let's go, Price. What are you leaving now with? Obama Snow. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. You're good. Just, you're going to be... God, I probably should have healed Chuck up just to be safe. But there's literally, I don't think there's a possible way, even with an Oka Berry, I'm not even sure if Obama Snow could live. Because literally, four times super effective Iron Fist choice banded from an Infernape. So, you know. 43. Alright, what's up next? That's eh, whatever. A Dugong. Dugong, gong, gong, gong. Um. I feel like I'm gonna send in Sean. Sean? Shawnee? Let's do this. Cause I, I mean, Shawnee would be my best bet for this. Uh, I mean, just because it will fi the fire punch will do a lot to it, but it's not like a one shot. And I'm oh my dear goodness, hundred percent blizzards in the in the snow too. So I'm gonna actually really hope that you go again for Blizzard. Okay. There's a little. I don't think there's any possible way you could live that. So. Ah yeah yeah. Lapras. All right. How fast is Lapras? I want to compare its speed to Torterra because Torterra might be able to outspeed it. I'd send it to Torterra and obliterate this thing with a banded Sea Bum. All right, in all honesty, I think that this will go this will go well. Okay, uh, it only outspeeds by four base points, and I guarantee I probably have more speed. Well, I probably have more speed because of EVs. In all honesty, it depends on your level. Forty-three. I think we're good. Did I just lose another Torterra? I'm I'm not gonna let I stand corrected with no like literally just base it'd, it'd be at level 43 be 69 so I always do something stupid Jeez, what do I even do here? Can this tail run out, please? Like, I really need it to go away. I'm just gonna have to... 
Still out its And there's the freeze. Paris stone. Alright, it is out of... Oh no. Yep, I couldn't do anything. Wow. Yeesh, this is going terribly. Right, in all honesty, I think that this will go this will go well. That's gonna hurt. I don't even know, dude. I mean I it's it's out of blizzards. So I'm gonna go for strength. I am Okay, good. That's actually great that you use that. I don't know, man. I'm struggling right now. This has been way tougher than I think it should have been. I thought this was literally gonna be a, be a breeze. Jesus, just go away. What's your final Pokemon? Frostlass. Just fuck out of here, bro. I'm impressed by your spin. I don't care if you're impressed. We got the glacier. We got the glacier bounce from Price. I don't like you, Price. Hail. That's literally the worst thing you could have given me. I would prefer Ice Beam. But now I've just let two more Pokemon die because I am a complete and utter moron. Uh, how's this going? I called some weird have a radio broadcast. They were talking about Team Rocket. You know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket's return to the camp and tree Santa Buggy. Take care. Oh, man. I'm gonna go to the Rocket Tower. Or the Radio Tower and take care of Team Rocket. Price said no chill. Just funny. Because he's an Ice type trainer. I mean, Mr. Twigs, I shouldn't have lost another Torterra. That's just awful on my part. This box is filled with so much power. I'm so upset, bro. I'm so upset. That was so dumb. I just don't have good types to add to the team, dude. Okay. So here is who we have on the team. Um, I'll, I don't want to train up the, the Drapion right now because it's literally level 1. And I'd rather give some X, just some random XP to, you know, Taco. I don't know. I was thinking about doing a couple of, like, just level grow a couple levels with like power and get him to vibrava maybe before you know oh stupid stuff like that is the way I lose Pokemon oh you trace my arena trap that's dandy I'm not someone who likes to do short episodes when I come to stuff like this but I really need to just train up my team in all honesty in preparation for uh, Team Rocket because we have at the very end we have two battles versus Team Rocket people uh, this is a short episode I apologize for that um, <laughs> didn't get nearly as much done as I was expecting to you know I expected to have Team Rocket hideout done today and in the next episode, we get to Blackthorn City and hatch a few eggs. And then the next episode after that, we do the, the gym. And we might have done Lugia in the same episode. No, it's not Lugia, it's Ho-Ho. I don't know. But things are going to go askew. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed it. If you did like, appreciate it. Make sure to step along. Thank you.